Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. This is Melvin Way. Uh, here are two bobcats. They're very active during late afternoon. Just walking around in this Thanksgiving themed cage with some pumpkins. Not much else. It's just fun to look at these two. They're very beautiful animals. Very cute. They look like house cats. They're a type of lynx as you can tell from the ears. They live in most of North America and since they don't have that much space to go in they're just gonna walk in circles. Uh, the Living Desert is one of my favorite zoos. Uh, it's a desert themed zoo and botanical gardens. It's not too crowded so if you're in Southern California or visiting you know it's definitely worth checking out. It's one of the funner things to do in the inland uh, lowland deserts and they're often just rubbing their scent glands against uh, wooden logs and branches and things like that. They pretty much look like cats. Um, they first appear during the Irvingtonian stage around 1.8 million years ago it's estimated and there are 12 recognized subspecies. They're smaller than the Canada lynx although they're twice as big as your average house cat. The bobcat prefers rapids and hares to hunt and those are very plentiful in Southern California for instance. You might find some in the wild on trails although I've never encountered some I've never been that lucky. But they also eat anything ranging from insects, chickens, geese, and other birds to small rodents and deer. Um, definitely they can make a living at the local park, you know, pouncing on some geese. I've also seen YouTube videos of bobcats fishing at the ocean shoreline. So that happens sometimes. They're very resourceful animals. Prey selection depends on location and habitat, season, and abundance. Like most cats, the bobcat is territorial and largely solitary. But these two play fight sometimes when they pass each other. And some overlap in their home ranges. They use several methods to mark their territorial boundaries, including claw marks and deposits of urine or feces. Bobcat breeds from winter into spring and has a gestation period of two months. Although bobcats have been hunted extensively by humans, both for sport and their beautiful fur, their population has proven very resilient. Although it is declining in some areas, you may have heard of laws being passed against uh, just hunters, trappers placing cages in the wild to capture these animals. Lucid predator features in Native American mythology and the folklore of European settlers. These cats have excellent senses to aid in their hunting. They have great vision and hearing, like most cats. Uh, the size can range considerably from females which are smaller, generally in the 4 to 15 kilogram range, or 9 to 34 pounds, with an average of 15 pounds or almost 7 kilograms. Males in adult phase can range in weight from 6.4 to 18.3 kilograms that's 14 to 40 pounds average is nearly 10 kilograms or 21 pounds they're significantly bigger than your average cat and sometimes they can reach giant statures New Hampshire roadkill specimen listed the animals weigh at 27 kilos or 60 pounds that's a medium to large dog size so the largest body bobcats are from eastern Canada and northern New England, the subspecies uh, Argigas. Well, the smallest are from the southeastern subspecies uh, Floridanus, uh, which is, I guess, near Florida, particularly those in the southern Appalachians. You normally expect the small subspecies to be in the deserts where prey is more scarce, but since I already mentioned these like to eat rabbits and hares. Uh, there's tons of those out here in Southern California for instance. So prey is not in short supply even though rain and water are. So the bobcat is muscular. Its hind legs are longer than its front legs giving it a bobbing gait. At birth it weighs less than a pound and is about 10 inches or 25 centimeters in length. By its first birthday it will reach about 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms grow considerably. Most cats and dogs are quite mature after one year, one to two years. Cat is larger in its northern range and open habitats. It's crepuscular. It keeps on the move from three hours before sunset until about midnight and then again from 
before dawn until three hours after sunrise. So each night it will move from 2 to 7 miles or 3.2 to 11.3 kilometers along its habitual route. This behavior may vary seasonably as bobcats become more diurnal during fall and winter in response to the activity of their prey as you can see here. So they're very active. You know, this is the beginning of their crepuscular temporal range and their prey are more active during the day and colder months so that's why they're just running around in circles <laughs>